Hey everyone, Maverick Stein here. In this video, I'll be doing a full review of the F-14A Tomcat, a currently 11.3 BR Tier 7 American Naval fighter jet that sits in the regular air tech tree. I'll be going over everything that you need to know about this vehicle, including its stats, how it plays, its strengths and weaknesses. I'll give it some ratings for how good it is in key areas, and then I'll give my final recommendation on if this plane is worth grinding for or not. That said, if you want to be the goose to my map, Maverick, feel free to subscribe and I'll love you forever, and we can shoot down all the MiG-28s in the world for all eternity. Either way, let's get into the video. First, I'll place the F-14A stats here on the left side. Important stats to know are its speed, rate of climb, turn time, and weaponry, including its AIM-7Fs and AIM-54A Phoenix missiles. And now, for how it plays. Simply put, the F-14A is the first in a new generation of aircraft to come to War Thunder, and as such, it plays somewhat uniquely compared to other planes, especially in a down tier. In air-to-air -air combat, the F-14 has incredible range with the active radar guiding AIM-54A Phoenix missiles, of which can independently track enemy planes when they get to within around 10 to 15 kilometers from their target, depending on tracking conditions. This means that the F-14A does not need to track a single plane until the missile hits. Well, at least beyond the initial lock-on, of course. Rather, a skilled and somewhat lucky F-14 pilot can target numerous enemy planes simultaneously, launching AIM-54s in quick succession. This, of course, is limited by the ability of the Phoenix missiles themselves, as they don't have as good of a radar as the amazing AN-AWG-9 radar of the F-14 Tomcat itself, meaning that even if you lock on and it looks like a good lock, you may not hit your target because the AIM-54s themselves may not have a solid lock when entering their terminal phase. Further, the AIM-54s are huge, 1,000-pound missiles that aren't incredibly maneuverable, having a maximum of 16 Gs of overload, meaning that you won't get as lucky with these as you might think that you would. While just a bit overhyped, the range of the AIM-54, as well as the ability to target numerous planes at once, cannot be overstated as an arrogant enemy team will quickly find themselves dying to these if they're not careful, especially being that they have a massive 61 kilogram warhead, which gives a lot of wiggle room, even if they miss. Alternatively, the much more balanced missile, the AIM-7, specifically the E and F variants, are much better for closer in engagements with 25 Gs of overload on the F variant and a still excellent 15 to 30 kilometers of range, depending on targeting conditions. While they cannot independently track enemies like the Phoenix missiles can, as you need to maintain radar lock on the enemy with your plane, you are more likely to hit one target with this missile than you are with the AIM-54, due to its superior maneuverability and the strength of the F-14's radar. Further, you have access to AIM-9H missiles for closer engagements, which, while not perfect, will still fairly reliably destroy enemies if you have a favorable lock on them. For close air support, the Tomcat is totally different. It is fairly generic, and while it still can carry a hefty 4 2,000-pound bombs, 14 500-pound bombs, and 16 Zuni rockets, along with some other smaller bombs, it isn't much compared to other similar BR planes. While this can do fairly well in any fight, especially being that the F-14A has ballistic computers, it lacks any sort of smart ordnance, of which is becoming the norm around this BR. Plus, it only has the option of dumb bombs and rockets, and not even a ton of them. And when I say a ton, I mean figuratively, not literally, because of course this can carry numerous tons of ordnance. While a plane like the F-4J, of which is just behind the Tomcat and the Tech Tree, is noticeably better for close air support based on ordnance and overall close air support capability. Better still are the A-10s and A-7s, in short, while it can be a close air support plane, the F-14A is better left as either an air supremacy fighter or a fighter in ground RB that carries some anti-ground ordnance and then switches to providing air cover against enemy aircraft. And now for the F-14A strengths and weaknesses, and for its strengths. While a touch overhyped, the AIM-54A Phoenix missiles that the Tomcat carries usher in a new era into War Thunder and, when used correctly, can absolutely devastate an enemy team. Second, the AIM 7F Sparrows are an amazing alternative to the Phoenix missiles, especially for those that prefer the enhanced maneuverability of the missiles, and don't mind losing a bit of the extreme range of the AIM-54. Third, the F-14 is incredibly fast. This is likely the fastest plane at low altitude in War Thunder upon release, and will likely be for quite some time thereafter. Fourth, the F-14A early features ballistics computers for both bombs and rockets, making it decent, though again not great 
for close air support. Fifth, it has a great M61A1 cannon to deal with various close range targets. Sixth, it has excellent maneuverability at all speeds. While not quite a MiG-21, it can still turn with the best of them, which is incredibly impressive, especially considering its size. And finally, it has an amazing radar. On release, the ANAWG-9 is the best radar in War Thunder and has the capability to track numerous targets at once, even from a long range. And now, for its weaknesses. First, it's fairly large, especially for a fighter, making it a bit easier to land a hit with cannons or a missile, barring evasion, of course. Second, while it does have very capable long-range options, its close-range AIM-9s, while good, are not the most capable in-game, which is kind of surprising considering how advanced this plane is. Third, it uses up a tremendous amount of fuel, basically forcing you to use 30 minutes or more fuel in any given match, and especially in the longer range maps, you are really going to have to manage your fuel. For its fourth weakness, while it is certainly capable, the Bombcat role for close air support is a lacking option compared to dedicated strike aircraft, as it can only carry dumb bombs and rockets, which, while still very effective, do not compare to dedicated close air support planes in terms of armament. And finally, the AIM-54A missiles weigh around 450 kilograms or 1,000 pounds each, meaning that a full loadout, even when only anti-air, will be a substantial hindrance to performance. You can basically consider these to be like bombs because they weigh as much, again, as a 1,000 pound bomb, which is crazy. Now, with all that said, however, let's get into my scores for the Tomcat in several key areas. For dogfighting, or better said, for Air RB in general, I give the F-14A an 8.5 or possibly even a 9 out of 10. It has great long-range missiles, radar, an excellent cannon, great speed, turn time, and an excellent climb rate, but still only carries very good, though not amazing, AIM-9H missiles. This plus its size and demand for fuel take away a small amount of points, but not many as the F-14A is still an extremely powerful plane in Air RB, as its strengths far outweigh its small weaknesses. For close air support, I give the F-14A a 6 out of 10. This role is not at all what the Tomcat was built for, and it shows, but it can still be effective if you're looking to provide air cover after dropping your limited payload against enemy ground targets. The most effective Tomcat players will use this plane to act as an interceptor first, destroying enemy helicopters and fixed-wing aircraft, and a ground attack second. Overall, I give the F-14A an 8 out of 10, or even possibly an 8.5 out of 10, with special weight being given to its performance versus air targets instead of ground, being that this is the role the F-14A is made to do. It has incredible performance, great anti-air capabilities, and can still perform well in ground RB, performing a mix of ground strike and air cover, which could end up being extremely effective in many instances. Now, for my final recommendation on if the F-14A is worth the grind or not. While the AIM 54A is a bit overhyped, as it is not a guaranteed kill that many people think that it is, it has the effect of making the AIM 7F a better missile in many ways, a bit less visible to people, which can be of great benefit to Tomcat pilots. If the enemy thinks that they can easily dodge a missile that you fire with a lazy maneuver because they think that you fired a Phoenix at them, but then it turns out to be a Sparrow, they'll probably die. But those are just the missiles. The F-14A as a whole is a wonderful performer of an aircraft and feels like one of the best planes in game. It is absolutely beautiful. It is incredibly fast at all altitudes, especially at sea level, and can handle enemies at all ranges. While not perfect, as it is a gas guzzler and doesn't have incredibly varied weapons, it can and will dominate in the right hands. I've said it before, while the pilot makes the plane, the plane can give the pilot an edge in battle and, to that end, the F-14A gives pilots the tools they need to succeed. In baseball, there's a stat called wins above replacement, in which people grade your performance on your team by how many extra wins you give your team versus an average player what they might do in that role. In that regard, the F-14's wins above replacement, or better yet, frags above replacement, or FAR, is among the highest in-game, and will allow great pilots to be even greater, and good pilots to be great. So yes, I give the F-14A the Tankenstein seal of approval, as I fully recommend grinding for it. It's incredibly fun, powerful, and is the only way to get into the danger zone. That said, thanks so much for watching everyone. Please, like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. Please let me know what you thought in the comments below. Either way, thanks again, and I'll see you all on the other side. Take care everyone.